Right, it is the very next day. I should have kept what was on my face because as you can see the bit of white there. I've been sanding in this room. We've painted this, I've got two coats of paint. We've just re-sanded it this morning. It went everywhere. I had like white powder around my nose, around my eyes. It looked very suspicious. And then Leah just FaceTimed me and she was like, what is up with your face? <laughs> so I've just had a quick clean. And now, now that I've sanded it, I just need to sort of wash it down because it's all very very dusty in here so that is the next thing also so this is an air vent and it had a horrible plastic cover and so what we've done is we've ordered a victorian style air vent made out of plaster on etsy which costs about 30 quid but it's very decorative and it's very pretty it makes the air vent a feature rather than just like something horrible that you cover with a plastic cover so yeah it's gonna look so good right we have frog taped the entire ceiling and the skirting boards and it's time to reveal the colour of the office. <laughs> I love that I'm treating this as if it's like some sort of game show. Right, what colour do you think it is? Pause this video now and leave a comment to guess what colour you think this is and we'll see who is right. Right, I believe this colour is going to cause a bit of um, consternation against you guys because it does look a bit gross when you open it but on the walls it should look lovely. Here we go. Dun, da, da, da. <gasps> Look at that. Oh my gosh, I love it. It's like a bogey green. <laughs> no, it's not. It's lovely. It's basically a bit like a sage green, but it's from Valspar and it's called Nature Lover. Right, let's get Lucy's reaction. Come on then, come in. <gasps> oh my gosh. What do you think? Gorgeous. It's nice, isn't it? Really nice. It's drying, obviously it's hard to tell the it's final colour because it's patchy as it's drying and it's going on but oh my gosh, it's so nice. It looks much nicer in the tray than it does on the walls. Yeah, so I'm it hoping does. that's what it will dry like. I'm hoping so, but we will see. Amazing. So cool. Yeah, hopefully it dries that lighter colour, but we will see. It also likes, it looks like it might be drying a different colour on the patches. Oh yeah. Maybe we'll just have to do two coats. Yeah. Right, it is drying darker than we expected. We want the paint to look like that, but it is drying darker, but I need to leave it for a couple of hours just to let it settle and dry and even out a bit, but yeah. I really like it. I'm glad we've gone for green rather than a dark blue. As I said, this is a room that we want to experiment with and we're happy to sort of get wrong and then try again. I'll show you the office in a bit. Basically, our internet's being installed tomorrow and it's already a bit earlier than originally planned because I contacted the customer service and basically begged them to connect us earlier. Anyway, I just got out the modem because they're coming tomorrow and it's, and I was like, let me get it out so it's ready. And here it is in all its glory. The piece of paper says that it'll be, it'll go live from the 20th second which is tomorrow and I was like you know what I'm just gonna see so I just got my phone and it was on there so I was like okay let me just type in the password typed in the password and it connected and I was like hmm and so I loaded a web page and it loaded we have Wi-Fi literally I can't believe it Lucy and I were dancing and jumping around the place we've just missed it so much and I'm very nearly out of mobile data so I'm so happy that we've got it and Lucy's now just connecting us to Netflix isn't it amazing it. We've, we've got, got it, it. yeah <gasps> oh, this is amazing news. No more DVDs. Oh, this is fantastic. Why have they connected us a day early? I don't know. But thank you so much. What an answer to prayer. Amazing. I've prayed about it day and night. And it's here. Right, my chicken is cooking. Quick. I think it's burning. Ah! A bit of oil spat on my foot. How did it get down there? That hurt. Gosh. Is it done? I don't know. I've just got back from a run and I did my push-up challenge. Some of you all know I did a vlog a while ago saying that I was starting this push-up challenge. So I do it pretty much every other day and I add push-ups every time. So I'm doing more and more and more. The other day I did it two, three days ago. I failed at the last hurdle. I think I did I did 14 push-ups in one go, then 18, then 14, then 14, then 20. How, and I did it all except for when I got to the 20 I only did 13. So I couldn't tick it off and I was like I've got to do it until I can do it. So I did it today and it nearly killed me but I was able to do the final 20 so now I'm on to the next day which is even more and I think it's going to take me a few goes at doing it but anyway time for a protein shake so this is what I have at the moment in my protein shake I've got a scoop of this which is about 
30 grams of protein or something, 25 grams. I've got some added collagen, bovine collagen, for your skin and hair and nails and bones. Then I've got some creatine monohydrate, which gives you a bit more power. It like helps you store some water in your muscles and makes them look a bit bigger. But also, yeah, helps you train harder. And 100% apple fiber, just to keep me regular. Here we go. I only do it with a small bit of water because I really don't like it. This protein powder is not my favorite and I'm just like working my way through it until I can get a new one because I don't like it. <sighs> Wasn't that bad, but ugh. And I know every time I post about like supplements and protein powders, there's always the people in the comments, probably including my dad, who's like, you don't need that, just eat a natural balanced diet. But um, I do eat a natural balanced diet, but this is exactly what it's called. It's a supplement. It's just to go along with all of my natural nutritious food. Although that said, I did have a chocolate cake last night. That's not nutritious, but it was delicious. Ava absolutely loves her new garden. She spends so much time out here, it's so cute. And she digs things up, she jumps on the things at the back there and tries to forage for things. She's so cute. Ava, come, come here. Are you having fun? Yeah, do you like it? <laughs> yeah, you do, good girl. Also, I just need to share with you these bowls. They're incredible. So one of Lucy's friends called Abby has sent us four of these amazing bowls. Look how nice they are. Oh my gosh, and they're all, I think they've been handmade, not by her, but <laughs> they're because they're all slightly different patterns and that we've got four of them and they're so lovely. So I think these might be from Habitat. If you're after them, because I, I know lots of you like homeware recommendations. I don't know if Abby watches my videos, but if you do, then thank you so much. I love them so much. They're so good. Update on the cupboards. These are the old ones. This is what the new one looks like. It looks so good. So things to note here. This bit's only had one coat. All of this has had two coats. We are also going to paint the bottom bit grey as well. But I'm going to do that at the end. We also got some new knobs. So these are the old knobs and these are the lovely new ones. The edges are also a little bit rough, so we're gonna get a really tiny paintbrush and touch it up, because we're not professionals. But I just think this looks so much better. It's gonna be such a cool dining room. I love it. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Joel, show us the office. So I'm gonna go show you now. We finished it last night. There's still a few finishing touches to do, but today is the first day that Lucy is working in the office. And it's very exciting. So, through her bedroom we go. Hello, knock knock. Welcome. Thank you. <gasps> Thank you so much. Whoa. I know. I know. So cool. Finally an office. I know. How does it feel? It's nice. Mm -hmm. Nice not to get distracted by you. Yes. Nice view. It is a nice view outside actually, yeah. to be fair. And I mean, it's not gonna look like this. We've, we're gonna get a proper desk, a mm -hmm. different chair. Yeah, this blue does not go with this. It does not, but the bare bones of it are done. Mm -hmm. Absolutely love this color. It is not the color we thought it was gonna be, Dark but gray, we like yeah. it, yeah. yeah. It's nice though. Yeah, it is. And we wanted a darker color for the office, mm -hmm. just to feel a bit warmer, cozier. Yeah. And um, once this has got like artwork on the walls and stuff, it will be really nice. Yeah, new carpet, just new carpet. to touch up the skirting boards. Yeah, touch up of the, the edges, the yeah. edges here. So this switch was covered in white paint from the last owner. They just obviously didn't care. So yesterday I took some white spirit to this and in the process have chipped all of the <laughs> paint around the edge. So that needs touching up. Yeah. But yeah, it's very good. Very good, yeah. Good. Right, thanks for having me. Pleasure. Get back to work. Ava, what are you doing? Come on. Oh, I've just had to put a jumper on because I'm cold. Anyway, so the next steps are basically my bedroom and Lucy's bedroom need to be painted before the carpets and the laminate arrive. So as I've said, I'm having laminate wooden flooring in my bedroom. Lucy's having carpet in her bedroom and the office and that's coming in the next three to four weeks. So at least we've got a deadline now, something to work towards. Lucy's booked a day off work this week on Thursday. So I think on Thursday we might start painting Lucy's room. Although actually I think maybe we're starting with my room because my wooden floor is being fitted a few days before Lucy's carpet. So I don't know. We'll start with one of the bedrooms and then, yeah, once that's done, once my room has been painted and a floor has been fitted, I can then put up my bed and stop sleeping on a mattress on the floor like a drug dealer. That's how I imagine drug dealers sleep, by the way. <laughs> but yeah, and in the meantime, I'll crack on with some of those 
cabinets and stuff. Ava's crate, as I've said, she's gonna be living under the stairs. I need to transform it into a dog kennel, so that is another project. And then as soon as basically upstairs is done, which should happen in the next month, upstairs should be done, completed, lovely, finished. Then it's like, we need to do down here, which is gonna be a mammoth job because basically we want to strip all the walls of the wood chip wallpaper down here and who knows what we're going to uncover. I reckon it will need replastering again, just like Lucy's bedroom, which is going to cost more money, but at least we'll get it done and sorted. Hello everyone, it's a few days later and not much has changed to be honest. This is how far I've gotten with the cabinets in here. They're looking better, They, the side there needs another coat. Obviously I'm going to paint the bottom skirting board as well, but I'm going to do that at the end. Today I'm going to aim to do a first coat on the rest of it. Shut up! You love this house, don't you? You're really enjoying it, especially the garden. You're so cute. Anyway, I've just been for a workout and a bit of a run, so I'm gonna have a protein shake and then a coffee, because guys, oh, it's very blown out. I don't know if it's the move or what, but basically every night at about half eight or nine o'clock, I'm falling asleep on the sofa. I'm so tired and I don't think I'm sleeping as well as I normally do, but I wouldn't say I'm sleeping badly, so I don't know why I'm so tired. Maybe it is the stress of the move. I feel like I'm waking up a lot earlier than usual. I think because I had to in that first week of the move, I had to be up at like 7 a.m. every day or earlier, but now I'm just getting up at 7 a.m. when I don't need to and it's really annoying. So I set my alarm this morning for 9 a.m. because I was like, I'm gonna sleep. And I didn't, I woke up at 7.30, so so annoying. I definitely am one of those people that I need eight hours sleep minimum and ideally I need 10 hours sleep. I just need it. My body, I'm asleep. I'm a greedy sleeper. I need a lot of sleep. Anyway, I've got some work to do today and then at 5.30 p.m. I'm doing a chocolate tasting course with Green and Blacks that was kindly gifted to me and they're sending some alcohol, some chocolate and so that's what I'm going to be doing for the last hour of the day, of the working day. I'm going to be doing chocolate and booze and then I think later if we've got time we're going to head to B&Q again to get some more paint because this weekend, well tomorrow actually we want to start painting our bedrooms guys I've just made myself a whipped coffee it needs mixing I just got a mouthful of milk but also at the same time as me making that my green and black delivery has arrived I cannot wait to be doing this <laughs> So guys, I've got about 45 minutes until the chocolate tasting with all the alcohol and stuff. I'm so excited. And you know what, when I opened it, I was like, this is obviously incredible, but I was like, I'm such a chocoholic. Like these are small. Like I was disappointed. I was like, I'd actually rather just have all chocolate and no alcohol. And then I lifted this up. And what did I discover underneath? <gasps> Five massive bars of green and blacks. I think this is honestly, the coolest PR package I've ever received. Like, the box is incredible. The way they've designed it, I just can't wait. I'm just a bit concerned that I'm gonna be really drunk because this is like an alcohol and chocolate pairing class. I know that probably I won't end up drinking all of it. It's just tasting, it's not like downing alcohol, but I just feel like many, many glasses. How many are here? There's 11 alcohols here and it's just me. And this is just for one person because I asked Green and Blacks, I said, is it okay to do it with my housemate? Cause there's two of us and she was like, sadly, it's just for one person. But surely I'm not gonna drink all of this. Maybe I can save some for Lucy. So very excitingly, Ava's custom made gate has arrived. So I had this custom made by the Rustic Mill Company. I'm very, very lucky to work with them because they're so busy at the moment. I, I believe it's because Mrs. Hinch, the Instagrammer, has uh, promoted them and they have boomed. Like they're apparently rushed off their feet. Orders are now taking months and months and months. So I was lucky enough to get in there. Basically ordered it, custom measurements. It's absolutely beautiful. It's um very, very solid, very heavy. It's got the nice little logo on there. Yeah, so my next task is to take these doors off. And the problem is these doors are very, very old. And as you can see, they've been painted over. I mean, that one's not painted over because I've just scratched it all off, but it's very hard to get out. I might have to rip them. Oh, Ava, you got in there voluntarily. Well done. This is gonna be your new crate. You're gonna love it, aren't you? And then also what we're gonna do is box in these pipes um, and just make this a livable home for Ava. It's gonna be so good. Right, I managed to do it. I actually had to wrench them off. I basically have like, rammed it off 
from the walls because they were so old. Oh my gosh, so excited to get rid of these hideous doors. Right, I've just saved the knobs um, because we've actually got the old knobs from these cabinets as well. So there's six of them. So with those doors, there's eight of them and I'm gonna put them on a website where you can give away stuff for free because I'm sure someone will wanna use these eight doorknobs for something because they're not bad. I think someone might have replaced the doorknobs at some stage, but yeah, other than that, these doors are so old. Look how yellowy they are and blotchy. The previous owner, I think, was here for about six years or something, and I honestly don't think they really did anything to this place, because I've seen photos from when it was on the market, like the time before we bought it, and it looks pretty much exactly the same. I think they put carpets down and they might have painted, but other than that, I don't think they've changed anything, so... Yeah, this house is really gonna get a new lease of life with us living here. Okay, so let's just get a little preview of what this is gonna look like. So, obviously it needs to be hung a bit higher up than that, but essentially it's gonna be so good. And it comes with a lock system as well. So I think it might be able to fit inside the gap actually. Maybe, maybe we need to get rid of that thing, that's stopping it from going in. And just to answer what I'm preempting in the comments of like, what are you gonna do when you want to sell it? Like, you know, you're making like a big change just for the dog. Well, firstly, there are plenty of people in the UK that have dogs. I think most people will find it fun and uh, helpful. But also, we're not gonna sell anytime soon, not at least for five years. And if the time came to leave and I wanted to take it with me, I'd just take the gate off, put some new doors on there, and it's back to an understairs cupboard. Ambassador Green and Blacks, I'm very excited to be here this evening and take you on an amazing journey, not only about chocolate and its taste and how it's made, we're talking about the intensity and how that really changes from one chocolate bar to another. It's still delicious cocoa, but it doesn't have as much of the complexity and intensity. Lovely one. Yes, cheers everybody, we should have said. I encourage you, please try some of the white chocolates and then go back to the gin and I'll tell you a little bit about the white chocolate.